Hello there and welcome back. Listen, I apologise if the sound was rubbish in the last video. Hopefully uh, those problems are fine now and the sound's not going to be letting us down. Anyway, in this video we're going to be looking at creating categories. As a matter of fact, the vibe is going to be we're going to have categories and subcategories. For example, we may have a category of guitars and the subcategory would be Fender guitars or Gibson guitars, Ibanez, something like that, okay? So let's go to the database table and we're going to create this table called store categories and the number of columns it's going to have will be three. It's a very simple table, folks. It's just going to have an ID, that's an auto increment primary key. Then we're going to have, I'll call it cat title. Short, do you want to no, category? You know what? Let's just do that. Category title, okay. And then we're going to have parent category. Actually, I'll do cat. We can handle it, okay. We can handle it. Let's shorten things a bit. Cat title, parent cat ID. Cat title, let's go with a variable character of 255. And there is the table structure. Okay, thank you very much indeed. So if we have a look at our database, there's the table, store accounts, store category, store items, blah, 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 blah. Now we've just created a table called store categories. So what comes next, folks? Well, if we create a table called store categories, then we need to create a module called store categories and that's exactly what we're going to do okay so here we go by this stage you should be probably very familiar with this this should be easy there's nothing strange going on here we're just setting up the uh, module categories okay uh, that's good and we change the bit up here, store categories, and we change the model being referenced. Okay, here we go. Store categories, right, that's good. Now let's do the same with this model file. So we rename to store categories, like so. Rename the top section here to store categories, and then rename the table so that it's looking at store categories and that's us okay um so let's uh, take a trip to the admin panel now how far have we got with this let me just check something dashboard okay i don't think we're quite there store items manage we made that right okay that looks pretty cool so we've got manage items let's have an option here up the top on the navigation for manage categories and we'll give it uh, let's just see i like this little icon here with the tables thing it's probably completely inappropriate but let's uh, use something like that okay so uh let's just have a little look here we've got manage items i'm just finding the view file and here it is Okay, so we'll copy this little son of a gun up here, paste in here, and we'll change this bit to manage categories. Hit refresh. Okay, that's looking all right. Uh, this is going to go to store categories forward slash manage. Okay, so I'm saving that, heading across. Okay, that's good. So we'll give it the the nice um, icon thing that we had. I think it's called Align Justify. And that's uh, okay with me, actually. So hit refresh. And there we go. So we have a nice little icon rocking here. You know, this is supposed to be like a list of categories. And here we go. So if we click on uh, Manage Categories, nothing will happen. But obviously we want it to display the categories and it will bear a striking resemblance to this manage items page so let's bring up store items and for the purposes of saving time and being consistent keeping everything nice and consistent we're going to copy from store items and we're going to paste in 
the manage method like so and that is pretty good now this get statement I'm going to just for the moment order by cat title okay just for the moment later on we're going to be able to prioritize categories. I'm even going to show you some really cool jQuery stuff so we can drag and drop and shuffle them about. It's going to be fantastic. But let's just do one step at a time. Just take it easy. It's all going to be cool. So, on to store categories manage. It's trying to load up the view file and that is no surprise at all. Okay, we knew that was going to happen. So let's take store items manage, I'll copy that and then I'll go into store categories, new file called manage.php. Okay, so that's in the views folder in store categories. Uh, I'm going to change the headline to say manage categories and uh, where we've got store items appearing everywhere, I'm going to change that to store categories. And where we've got the word item, I'm going to change that to category. Okay, and I'm going to hit refresh and it'll probably look a complete mess. Oh well, it's actually not too bad. Um, okay, so where it says items inventory, let's change that. Whoops, where are we? Let's change that to existing categories. Okay, this little tag thing here, do you see that little tag? I'm going to change that as well and I'll bring in the icon align. Oh gee, sorry. I'll bring in the icon align justify thing here. I am that much of a perfection, folks, you know. Let me just see white tag. I think it's that. Hit refresh. Okay, so just so you know, I, I changed the thing that said tag to align-justify. We have a nice little thing here, you know. It's all cool. So, this table's going to change. We've got category title. And then, I'm just going to say a uh, parent category. Okay. And we'll take this out like so and we'll take now we've got let me just see store categories right this item title thing here we're going to change that to cat title do you remember how cat title was the name of the column here cat title that's the vibe so that's going to be cat title we don't have any need for was price or any of that stuff so we can take that out uh, we don't even need this item price thing we can take that out and for the moment i'm just going to say let me just check actually for the moment i'm just going to save and refresh let's see how we look Okay, that's all right. That's okay. I'm quite happy with that actually. Right, so let's, uh, how are we doing for time here? I don't know. I'm trying to keep these videos down to 10 minutes, you know, and it's not easy. Right, let me just try. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, wake up Dave, we're going to create new category. So that goes to store categories, create store categories create you know what i'm going to say it's going to bear a striking resemblance to store items create let's save time let's be consistent let's be intelligent we're copying create from store items and pasting into store categories you see how that's highlighting item title there i'm going to select all of those and change to cat title you see how we have the word item here? I'm going to do the same again. And I'm going to change it to category, okay? Now, the next stage is we're going to go through this create thing in great detail and make sure that everything is cool with it, okay? So the first thing that we do is we uh, make sure the person's logged in as admin, right? That's fine. Uh, next, if somebody hits cancel, it goes to store items. Let's change that 
I'm changing all of these reference to store items to store categories, right? Good. That's pretty cool. Uh, next, we've got some rules here and I'm going to take all of these validation rules and simplify like so. And I think that's all we're going to do. We're not going to do a callback here so we can take that out. Um, everything looks fine. Fetch data from post. Uh, we don't need this item URL thing here. Okay. We don't need that. If it's an update ID, uh, well, we've got the item details. So I'm going to say, now hold on a second here. I'll change that to say category. Now flash data should say item. I'm quite happy with that. So I don't want to mess with that one. Um, the item, right here we go. Right here we go. Oh gee. One too many. Okay. Category. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just changing it to say category. Relax, relax. It's all cool. Right, we don't need this big big pick thing here. Uh, add new category, update category. We'll take out the word details here, shall we? Um, no, just say update category. So that's good, that's good. Save and refresh. Okay, fetch data from post, it doesn't know what to do. Now again, we've used this many times before here. Fetch data from post and its partner in crime, fetch data from DB. Let's copy from store items, let's paste in. So what have we got here? Well, we've got item title, that's going to become cat title. Um, I'm going to take that stuff out. And where it says status, I'm going to change that to say parent cat ID. Okay, so that's fetch data from post working and that is fetch data from DB. They are both working. Can you see that? It's all cool. They are both working. So here we go. We'll hit refresh. Okay, and it's looking for the file called create.php. So again, we'll take this from store items, we'll copy, and we'll go into store categories. We'll create a new file called create.php. All right, so we're just going to paste in. Now let's have a quick look here. In fact, let me just give you an idea of what's coming up. Uh, create.php looks like this for store items. It's it's nice, but it's far too complicated compared to what we need. So the name of the game here, I'm just going to make sure I've got the right one open. The name of the game is simplification. Okay, so we're going to simplify. All right, we'll take that bit out with the buttons. Yes, indeed, we're simplifying. And then we're going to take out uh, all of this stuff here, actually. All of this stuff here is going to go. And I'm going to go with, we've got this item title thing happening. Change item title to cat title. And where we've got the word item, I'm going to change that to category. Okay. We don't need this part with the pictures. Let's take that out. And let's just refresh and have a look at manage categories. We'll hit add new category. Okay, and that's a good starting point. I'm, uh, yep, I'm quite happy with that actually. If we hit cancel, takes us, oh gee, sorry. Let's change our form uh, URL. It's store categories create, okay? So uh, refresh, hit cancel. And there we go, okay? Now that's a nice starting point. And in the next video, we'll get into the nitty gritty of this and hopefully we'll make some good progress. I'll see you then, bye.